just happened? Ah. Where the hell am I right now? Well, considering the sky's blue and not infested with man-eating harpies, it's probably safe to assume that I'm no longer in hell. Uh, but the fact I'm stranded in a random forest must mean something went wrong with the teleportation spell. Pretty sure I didn't screw up the incantation, like, at all. Eh, whatever. Getting out of that overcrowded sex pit was the whole point. The destination doesn't really matter. Unless I'm on Earth or something. That place is just full of weirdos. Cool, a dirt road. Now all I need is to find civilization and buy some food. I'm freaking starving. Oh, there's someone. Hey kid, sorry to bother you, but could you point me to the nearest exit? I'm kind of lost here and I clearly have no appreciation for the great outdoors. I like bugs and you love them too. What? Uh, kid, I'm just asking for directions. Caterpie, I choose you. Catter what? Jesus! Well, come on already. I don't have all day. What do you mean, come on? What do you expect me to do with the huge insect you just summoned out of thin air? Okay, stop messing around and send out your Pokemon already. P Pokemon? What the hell are you talking about? Gee, lady, could you cut it out and just battle me? You stand no chance. <laughs> Enough! Listen here, kid. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm obviously not from around here. So believe me when I say this, I have no idea what's going on right now. I don't know what a Pokemon is, and the fact you want to battle is making everything even more confusing. So could you please just tell me where the nearest town is? I'm hungry, and I'm tired, and I definitely need a shower. So you're not gonna battle me? No, I'm not gonna battle you. Then that means you forfeit? Sure. I forfeit. Hooray! I finally won my first Pokemon battle! What are you doing? Waiting for you to fork over a thousand yen, duh. Why would I give you money? Because he lost. Lost what? The battle? You're expecting compensation for everything that just happened? Them's the rules. Rules? What rule? <sighs> you know what? Forget it. I'm gonna find my own way out of this freaking forest. See you never, kid. But what about my money? You just can't leave. Them's the rules. Hold it right there. You're under arrest. Under arrest? <laughs> oh, come on, man. What did I do? For violating code 2-07 of the Pokemon's trainer's official handbook, transferring funds to the opposing trainer after losing a battle, I'm placing you under police custody and escorting you to the nearest holding cell. You don't understand. I'm not from around here. You gotta believe me. Tell it to the judge. For Christ's sake, the kid who was the one who was attacking me should be arresting him instead. So let me get this straight. You were accidentally transported into the middle of the woods with zero recollection of how you got there? Uh-huh. Went through countless branches and tall grass before coming across a dirt road. That's right. Where out of nowhere you were assaulted by a overbearing kid and his bug, despite showing zero hostility from your end. Do I have that right? That's exactly how it all went down, officer. I was asking that brat for some directions up until the moment he shouted how he's going to make me love bugs as much as he does or whatever, and that's when he sicked his caterpie thing after me, yelling some stupid sh** about how I stand no chance. I think I heard enough. But I wasn't done yet. Man, the reason why you were brought here today is for your complete disregard of Section 2-07. What, that crap about handing over money after losing? That's not even the worst of it. After doing a complete background check, we discovered nothing about you. No place of residence, no birth certificate, or better yet, no trainer's license. It's like you never existed up until today. Well, if the horns were in a dead giveaway, I'm not really from your neck of the woods, so to speak. Just think of me as a stupid tourist passing through. So please let me be on my way already. I still haven't taken a shower since I got here. Well, regardless of your excuses, if you wish to remain within this region, you are by law required to have a trainer's license on your person at all times. And that's the thing that allows animal fighting? Pokemon battles, yes. But uh, what if I don't want to be a Pokemon trainer? Can I just refuse outright? Either you get a license or get put on the next bus to Dodrio's holding facility for the criminally insane. Those are your two options. Jeez, when you put it like that, sign me up for the license, Officer Crumpke. A wise decision. So what now? Head over to the local DMV to get my picture taken? All will be explained to you once we land in Pallet Town. Land? Are we getting on a plane?
Cool whistle. Oh my god, let me down, you f***ing bird. Do I look that appetizing to you? Where the hell are you even taking me? I hope you choke on my remains, you oversized eagle. Ah! Uh, oh, uh. And here we are. I was. Flew through the sky. Worm chow. Stop being overly dramatic. The presentation's about to start. We need to hurry. The bird, it's a huge bird. And... My name is Zoke. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is This guy likes to hear himself talk. What's with all these kids? You brought me all the way to a freaking preschool or something? Quiet. And shouldn't they know all this crap about Pokemon already? What's with the huge exposition dub? I mean, it's incredibly helpful for me, but that's still no excuse for his boring lecture. But first, tell me about yourself. Starting with you, little one, what's your name? My name is Philip, Professor. Now tell me, are you a boy or a girl? A boy. Come on, out with it. Huh? You obviously want to say something. Oh, no, no. I think it's wonderful he's not assuming anyone's gender. Very progressive for an old-timer. Well, ain't you a colorful sort, miss? <laughs> Please excuse her rudeness, Professor. She's the one I told you about on the phone. Oh. Uh, Yes, the young lady with filed license, a very peculiar situation indeed. But don't you worry, we'll get that resolved soon enough. Now may I have the pleasure to know whom I'm speaking with? Lily, short for Lilith. And I am indeed a woman, in case you were somehow on the fence about my gender, dear doc. <laughs> In your case, it's a little more obvious, but much appreciated nonetheless. Now, without further ado, let us begin with the most exciting part yet. Choosing your own starter Pokemon. Please look this way. It's a very peculiar situation in waiting. But don't you worry, we'll get that resolved soon enough. Now, may I have the pleasure to know whom I'm speaking with? Lily, short for Lilith. And I am indeed a woman, in case you were somehow on the fence about my gender there, Doc. In your case, it's a little more obvious, but much appreciated nonetheless. Now, without further ado, please look this way. Wow, nice set of balls. Truly, we're in for a treat. Ow. It's not the Pokeballs that you should be praising, Miss Lily. It's what resides within that truly deserves your attention. Each newly certified trainer will be accompanied with a starter Pokemon before beginning their journey. Is that lizard sailed on fire? You will each now pick your own starter, your new partner, and dare I say, your new friend. Can you believe I was stuck with the run of the bunch? This has to be some sort of joke. What's wrong with his eyes? I swear, the moment I capture another Pokemon, I'm ditching this eyesore the first chance I get. So are we pulling straws or something? Because there's four of us and three of, uh, these things. Yeah, she's right! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> well, ain't this quite the dilemma, but there's no need to worry. Everyone in attendance will leave with a Pokemon of their very own. I can guarantee it. You can come out now. Now there you have it, one for each of you. But before I start divvying up the Pokemon, it would be imprudent of me if I neglected to mention the importance of bonding with your starters. They ain't just tools to be used on a whim, but living and breathing things to be taken care of. Feeding and grooming them should be your number one priority before anything else. Jeez, and I've been good enough to be used as a practice dummy. Couldn't even last three seconds against my Drowlith. 
I hope you know that's the last day on the carpet. My progress of becoming the best trainer there ever was will only be diminished as long as you're still around. That's why we're parting ways from this moment forward. I hope you can understand. Have fun in the rain. Hopefully some of your failure will wash off. <laughs> The best way to decide who goes first, I believe, is if we go by alphabetic order. That way, the choosing process should go smoothly without any complication. The lineup will go as follows. We will begin with Clara. Awesome. Then Lily. After that, Philip takes a turn. All right. Which will leave Tom for last. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Settle down, little one. There's no need for an overreaction. Overreaction? All due respect, old man, but I didn't come here to be stuck for vibe balls over there. You're making a scene, Tom. Cool it. Easy for you to say, Mish, I get to go first. It's a given that everyone else here is going home with Pokemon they could be proud of. We should do what the lady with the horn suggested and draw straws. You can shove it, Tom. The professor already made his decision. Shut up, mama's boy. Stop acting like children, guys. You're embarrassing me. Stay, Stay out, out of this, this teacher's, teacher's pet. pet. Teacher's pet? No, you're an idiot. You're a dumbass. Shut, shut up. You, 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 you know who I am. I know who you are. I know who you are. You are a dumbass. You're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. Hey, you look like someone who's definitely been through the thick of things. Don't really blame you for looking the way you do now. The thought of ending up with any of them would make even Mother Teresa glare with discontent. I for one don't really give a shit who I end up with, especially considering the lined up includes a walking cabbage, a blue turtle, and a tiny dinosaur who's currently on fire. But for some reason when I look at you, kind of get this funny feeling we have something in common. Like it wouldn't be so bad if we became travel companions. Now I don't really have any ambitions of becoming the best animal fighter. <laughs> Sorry, Pokemon trainer on the planet, but at least with me, you no longer have to tolerate these clowns a second more. So, what do you say? Want to give it a shot and travel the world together? Finally! I thought that would never end. Are you enjoying the fresh air as much as I am, Riolu? Now that you have your trainer's license, I suggest you stay out of trouble from this point forward. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. We both are going to remain as clean as the badge plastered on your oversized hat. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I'll be making my way now. Good luck on your journey, you two. Huh. I wonder why she's so chummy all of a sudden. <laughs> Whatever, no time like the present. Let's travel down the narrow path and get out of this hick town already. Come on, partner. You don't want to be left behind, right? <laughs> 